the history of television was the Brady Bunch, and my first guest was the cute pigtailed Cindy on the Brady Bunch. Here's a look back at Cindy. Are you tired, Cindy? No, not much. You getting tired? No. We're getting close to that million times. <laughs> okay, kids, lunch break. We can't stop, Mom. Well, you have to have a sandwich. That was warm to record. We've got to keep going. And she's here. Welcome, Susan Olsen, everybody. Thank you. How old, the, the picture we just saw, how old were you in that? Uh, probably eight or nine. And you got the part at, what, seven? Yeah. Seven years yeah. old? Like, I played a five-year-old, though. She was supposed to be five. Mm -hmm. So you, you've been in, in the television all, all your life that you can remember. You were in TV. Yeah, uh, although um, my mother took me out of the business when I was three because mm -hmm. I had my brothers and my sister had all worked. Mm -hmm. And all kind of by, by chance, by accident. My dad was never into having his kids act. And uh, my sister wanted to get out, so my mom took me out. And as fate would have it, when I was five in kindergarten, a talent scout came to school and picked me to sing a song on the Pat Boone show. So you were seven years old? Right. And uh, the interesting thing about the auditions for the Brady Bunch is that they were not auditions. They, as I recall, they never had us read script. Um, what Sherwood Schwartz was looking for, he was the creator of the show, mm -hmm was six kids that were interesting. He wasn't going to actually write character descriptions for the kids. Like, the networks wanted a fat kid, a, a wisecracker, a shy kid. He just wanted to find six kids that were interesting. Mm -hmm. Did you like the character? Well, <laughs> not, re not really, not really. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to know, what is it that she's doing right now at present time? Yeah, what are you well, doing these days? Well, I, I was doing radio. I had a radio show in um, Los Angeles. My partner was Ken Ober, who you might remember from MTV's Remote Control. Mm -hmm. But right now, I, I've got a really, really heavy full-time job and a very important title. I'm a mommy. Oh, so. that, is a, that is an important <laughs> title. Yeah. Do you, still, do you still keep in touch with everyone that you worked with? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, Gosh, all, that, all, all of the kids were at my wedding, which was um, a year ago. And all six of us were gathered in one room. Very, very scary to look at. <laughs> the only one that, unfortunately, is not around is Robert Reed, of course, right, who passed yeah. away. Yeah. Did, did you know uh, that he was ill? You know, I, I, I knew that he was, well... I knew he that died the rumor, in case anyone doesn't remember, yeah. and no one knew he was gay for a long time. Well, he, you never would have known. Those days, know it wasn't him. something that you really talked no, about. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I knew. I, I mm -hmm. knew since I was a child. And when we were doing this very short-lived series called The Bradys, it was like the last Brady Project, mm -hmm. um, Bob just had this look about him. He didn't look didn't well, well, and I was really scared that he might be HIV positive and... You liked working with him, though, didn't you? Oh, gosh. I he heard... was the best. He, he's my role model for how an adult should treat children. He treated us with as much respect as, as he would any adult. Uh, now, we have a clip of you and uh, Bobby, because he's about to come on here. That's actually Mike Lookinland. But here's a little clip of them. You were like seven years old in this clip. Watch this. It take a long time to set the record. Are your muscles in good shape? I guess so. Are yours? Sure. Feel this. I don't feel anything. Well, maybe it's in the other arm. <laughs> Mike, look at land, everybody. <laughs> That's uh, oh, Jerry. How many times have you seen that famous teeter totter scene? It's it's been on you know every every year for uh, the last 25 years. There were there were few, just over 100 times. shows done, I guess. Of, uh, 117, yeah. including the the what's called the honeymoon, which was the pilot. So you were how old when you got this part? I was uh, eight. You were eight years I'm old. Just a l little bit older than Susan. You didn't exactly look the part. You had to do a little change. No, they they had it. They cast Bobby last, actually. Uh -huh. uh, they had everybody else, and they couldn't find a Bobby. They went to New York and Chicago and. Uh, 
finally they, they found me in LA and they, it was down to me and one other little boy who, uh, who uh, had black hair and they mm -hmm. said we like you, we like to cast you but you need black hair so the, we said okay and that was that so Bobby had black hair up, yeah. until, up until the fourth season out of five and then uh, I expressed to Sherwood my uh, I wasn't happy with it. I, I can't remember yeah. why it upset me so bad, but I, there must have been a certain amount of hazing from my friend uh -huh. because uh, because I went into Sherwood's office and, and I was very upset. And he uh, and he said, uh, "I had no idea you felt that strongly, Mike. Forget it. We won't dye your hair." So on the fourth season, I have my natural color. You had a crush, I heard, on one of the characters on the show, though, Mike. Is that true? Uh, well, it started out as Susan, <laughs> but then my affection switched to Eve. Didn't she was you? developing. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Eve, played, Eve played Jan, and uh, I don't know, I just kind of remember. So how was everybody else? How was Florence Henderson to work with? She was wonderful. A lot of fun on the set. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, uh, a lot of antics. How about and, uh, Barry Williams? Barry was great. Barry, yeah. uh, Barry was too cool for me at the time. You well, know, he was friends, older. Yeah, he we're was friends cool. now, but he was 15 and I was 8. He doesn't want to uh -huh. hang around with me, you know. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Last year on our show, uh, Christopher Knight here was on our show who played the character Peter, and here's a little clip of him talking about Barry as well. So let's talk about some of the characters. Barry Williams played Greg. Yes. Um, how, how was Barry? Uh, back then? Or now? Yeah. Today well, we're well, back terribly then. close friends, back then. but he was, uh, I don't know how to put this gingerly, because uh, he didn't really mean to be, but he was a jerk. <laughs> You put it a little bit differently, but... Well, he was... Barry was what? He was a teenager right. when he got this show. That, you can't have... You know, it gets kind of make you a little crazy to be a big star like that when you're in your teens. Well, Barry was also, you must understand, he was the youngest in his family at home. Now, suddenly, He's he had oldest. people younger than him, uh -huh. so he, he could... Brother. What would you say would be your favorite episode of all? I mm -hmm. liked the one, strangely enough, that, uh, that Greg had to make the movie for his high school project. Remember that one? Uh. And he made, it, he made it about the pilgrims and the... It was the only chance we got... It was the only chance we got to, like, dress up and do weird uh -huh. antics. Um, it's amazing how many kids. people know literally every episode. I mean, you think, oh, sure. do you have a favorite episode before we go to break? Uh, Susan, do you have a favorite? Yeah, um, oddly enough, my favorite is one that I'm not in very much. Um, it's, it's the one where Greg and Peter go on a double date, and Peter wears a fake mustache, oh, and he's yeah. eating the popcorn. Yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> well, thank you both very much. We'll take a break. Come back and meet Fred Berry, who played Rerun on What's Happening. My favorite line is when Cindy says she's, she sells seashells by the seashore. My favorite Brady was Cindy, the youngest one in curls, but my husband sure likes Dan. Guess played big. Mike, I see you have a wedding ring on. I was just wondering how long you've been married and if you have any children. I have two little boys, oh. who, and the older one, who's six years old, often says to me, Dad, when do I get to be on a TV show? So he's, uh, would you I, mind that? Would, would been, you let him go in the business? Uh, yeah, I think I, I, think I would. We uh, have a picture, I think, of your, of your kids. So yeah, the older one is, that's Joey. Oh. Oh. He just turned three. And the older one is Scott. That's Scott. Scotty. Oh. And uh, I, this, this spring, it, it will be 10 years of that, marriage. That's your marriage. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. My wife's name is Kelly. Uh, this is for Demond. Do you still?